Hey everybody, how you doing here? Wedgie, and I am bringing you a video. I recorded this earlier, and it was a 13 minute long video. I don't want to stick with you guys with that. Long story short, I'm going to the beach. I won't be here for a few days, but I want to give you guys something to watch while I am partying and drinking and eating and, you know, being fat and lazy and drunk. Anywho, this is going to be a quick little video on professions, the most valuable versus the most useful. I'm going to try and make it very quick. Um, I'm going to bring up my guild page with all the professions here, and I want to show you, I, I, I went through in the first video and I showed what everything cost and what everything did, and I was, like I said, it was a, almost a 14 minute long video. So, me ranking uh, profession combinations, since you can have two, on how much gold they make, strictly by how much gold, in my opinion, the most profitable combination would be herbalism and enchanting, since they are two standalone things. Uh, crafting, crafting ones are out. Don't worry about crafting things. I picked these boots up for 70k last night because crafters don't know what to do with the stuff when they have it. Nobody wants to buy them. So I got a pair of 970 legendary boots that I'm going to turn around and take the time to sell for 120k for 70k. Am I a jerk for doing it? Yes. But I'm making money and crafting is not the way to go right now. So enchanting and uh, herbalism. Why? Farn Skaggle right now is going for 45k. That's the cheapest. Dreamleaf, 38k a piece. Uh, 100 is 50 gold a piece. And, okay, and so on. They're all about the same right now. 40 to 60 gold a piece for herbs. Enchanting, uh, Chaos Crystals are out of whack right now. Don't take this price seriously, but 900 gold a piece. Right there you can get them for 600. That's a little more reasonable, but usually they're more along the lines of 300 gold a piece, but that's still ridiculous because they're so easy to get. Um, and Hidden Seder, the enchant, because everyone's getting new necklaces, is going for 7k right now. Now, that's a little high. Usually they're 4 to 5k, even as low as 3.5, depending on the enchant. But it's, it's definitely a way to make gold. Another good way to make gold is with jewel crafting. Jewel crafting is highly profitable. Obviously, up to 4.5k for a gem. That's very high. Usually, these are about 2 to 3k per gem. And the other ones are worth less. Um, I have Prophecy right now is going for 1400 it, it go, it'll go down but some some guy will get pissed off eventually and it'll go up to 2100 gold which is what i sell at and i just sold six the other day for 2100 gold that's a good one to make money with um the cheapest gem is maelstrom sapphire and but here's the thing Right now, they're going for 600 gold, and if we wait a little bit, they'll go up to 900 gold, and I usually sell around 900 gold, and they do sell. But if you look here, uncut ones, 136 gold. So if you cut them and sell them, that's, if you buy, cut, and sell, right now, that's almost a 500 gold profit. But if you wait, it's going to be more of an 800 gold profit. And I've seen these go for as low as 50 gold uncut, because nobody knows what to do with them. Nobody wants them except tanks. Mages want them now, too, but we're not going to get into that. Anyway, so, um, that, uh, so, sorry guys, I'm trying to go quick. So, jewel crafting, enchanting, and herbalism are the most profitable. Least profitable, in my opinion, is inscription and any of the crafting ones. Inscription is so bad right now. They do some useful things, but I did a test, invested 300,000 gold in the Starlight Rose, and I lost my ass. I lost 100k. I was only able to make 200k back, so I lost money. Do not go Inscription if you want to make money. Now, useful. If you want something useful, enchanting is probably one of the most useful things. No matter what your gear is, it should be enchanted to make you better. Now, alchemy is also very useful and can be profitable, but the most profit you're going to get is with uh, potions of prolonged power. Each blood will yield approximately 600, uh, no, yeah, approximately 600 gold right now. 
they're 60 gold a piece you get so 10 is 600 gold and then each blood makes 10 so you'll get about 600 gold for 10 for one blood of Sargeras which is which is good but other than that um alchemy really shines through and you don't have to buy your own stuff you double your flask time you get your own potions but other than that it's usually more it's about the same there's really no profit to be gained in crafting using all the materials to craft a flask and then sell it because this uses seven starlight rows which are 50 gold a piece right now and so that means 10 of them are going to be worth 500 gold and with all the other mats you're going to need 20 other herbs you might actually be losing a little money as opposed to taking your time and selling it bit by bit anyway guys i hope this video wasn't too long i'm sorry if it was if you like this if it helped you out any please like and subscribe i'm sorry i tried to rush it but professions are a big one uh real quick again uh the best way to make money is going to be good to go with herbalism and enchanting. I'm an enchanter. You can make a lot of money using enchanting, selling your materials, or you can enchant your own things. And then herbalism makes just an absolutely massive amount of money, especially if you know what to do with it. Alrighty, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to the beach. I'm going to party. I hope you guys get to party this weekend, too. Peace.